Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining us here at WHAS 11 News at Noon. I'm Grace McKenna. Brooke Hash has the day off as we mark this Memorial Day, honoring those servicemen and women who paid the ultimate sacrifice. Today is also, of course, one of the busiest travel days on the road with many families out and about for the Memorial Day holiday. That's according to AAA. It's forecasting more than 37 million drivers on the road over the long weekend. Good news for your gas tank, though those gas prices are lower compared to last year when we remember the national average topped $4 a gallon. AAA does forecast minimal traffic impacts today. When it comes to heading home, they do recommend leaving Wednesday. If you can't do that, it says to leave before 2 p.m. Tuesday or after 6 p.m. The window between 4 and 6 p.m. is expected to be the busiest. You'll, of course, want to get to the airport if you're flying about two hours early today to guarantee that you do make it on board. Airport officials say scheduled flights are up 22% from last year. The airport is crediting more flights, new destinations, and larger aircrafts for the increase. More than 53,000 people were expected to roll through SDF for the holiday weekend, with today being that busiest travel day. You're encouraged to check in before leaving home and know your parking options ahead of time. If you're staying here, there are tons of other events going on in the Metro today where you can honor service members who gave their lives for our country. We have a full list on our website, whas11.com. Memorial Day weekend also kicks off summer and boating season, so we're going to take a closer look here at some water safety for you. According to LMPD's River Unit, your boat must have a life jacket for every child under 12 years old while the boat is moving. It also said recreational boats have to stay west of the 2nd Street Bridge. Some other things to check before you head out, your headlights, fire extinguisher, and radio to call for help in case of emergency. Luckily enough, our weather, Sam, is certainly improving today compared to over the weekend. Bright and sunny, nice and warm out there so far today. Yeah, yesterday was kind of a gloomy, kind of cool day. You know, we saw temperatures mainly scattered about the low 70s, but today the sun's loud and proud in our sky. We are managing to get into the mid 70s at this lunch hour. And by and large, if you are going to be at the lake later today or just simply grilling and with loved ones later on, it's going to be a rather mild day today. Reaching the low to middle 80s through the course of this afternoon. Right now we're sitting at 76 at Ali International. The coolest here is towards Barstown right now at 71, but overall, no worries when it comes to today's weather forecast when it comes to any kind of rain chances. In fact, any kind of clouds and any scattered light rain is going to be well off into eastern Kentucky. That's where temperatures are a little bit cooler at this hour, but we're enjoying rapid warming today, getting well into the middle 70s for the lunch hour or so. Take a look at future casts. If you happen to be out and about later on through the course of this afternoon, we're still looking fairly quiet, but this time tomorrow and it's in particular into tomorrow evening, Grace, there will be a couple of shots of uh, weak showers and storms. I'll detail who's the best chance of picking up any kind of thunder with tomorrow afternoon and evening's forecast coming up here in a few minutes. Sam, thank you. On to some of our top stories now. A search is underway in the Ohio River for a man who went overboard in East Louisville. LMPD said it happened around 1230 in the morning on Sunday. Officers were told Harrods Creek Fire and EMS were dispatched to a water rescue near Captain's Quarters. Divers searched overnight and couldn't locate the man. This is now considered a recovery operation. Today we learned a man who was in custody at the Louisville Metro Department of Corrections died Sunday evening. Corrections officers got an alert that an inmate was in distress and found a 28 year old male who they believe took his own life. EMS attempted to begin life saving measures, but the man did die at LMDC. This is the second death reported at the jail this year and since 2021, 14 people have died in LMDC custody. In a statement, Chief Jerry Collins says, quote, this loss of life is something that we never want to see happen. Collins went on to say, quote, we're going to keep working every day to bring awareness to the mental health needs of the incarcerated population. The Metro Corrections peer support team has also been activated and the jail insured mental health services are available for other incarcerated people. An update now to a story we brought you over the weekend. One person has died and two others are in critical condition after a house fire in Crescent Hill. You see that house on your screen. It happened on Kennedy Avenue, just south of Frankfurt Avenue, a little after seven last night. According to the Louisville Fire Chief, about 60 firefighters from six different units responded. We also know one pet died in that fire. Um, there's extensive fire. Uh, we called for a second alarm, which brought another probably 30 firefighters, a total of about 60. Um, a lot of concealed spaces, it's a very large house, um, so, so we called for the additional units. 
The chief says crews inspected the house earlier this year and it did have working smoke alarms. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. Family and friends are calling for action after two weeks spent waiting for more information from investigators in the Shively Animal Clinic shooting. 21 year old Trent Taylor was fatally shot during what police called an altercation at the clinic. Police have also said the case could be self defense, but Taylor's family is disputing that. Connor Stephan and photojournalist Jessica Farley spoke with the family and bring us those details. Droves. Demanding justice. After the loss of a young life. I didn't even know I was saying goodbye, but my grandson came on Sunday with flowers and I got to kiss him and I got to say, I love you, TJ. Sunday, May 14th, Mother's Day. 21 year old vet tech TJ Taylor is shot dead during his shift at the Shively Animal Clinic. Taylor was an expecting father with a baby due in four months. Of the dozens gathered here for hours, they all tell the same story of a young father excited for the birth of his baby. Someone who was passionate about animals and protecting his family. We went from planning a baby shower to planning a funeral. On Mother's Day. On Mother's Day. Just an amazing person all around. I think everybody should have gotten to meet and know TJ. He was one of a kind and not only was a, a friend taken, but a father, a son, and a brother were taken off this planet. And there needs to be justice. Shively police responded to an incident on Mother's Day, but made no arrests, saying the incident could have been self-defense. Taylor's family disagrees, saying TJ would never hurt anyone. And that's what TJ was doing. He was standing up for his co-workers. Ultimately, the decision to file charges in this case now falls on the office of the Commonwealth's attorney. As of Sunday, it said it has no updates, sharing the following statement. I can confirm that our office has received the case from the Shively Police Department, and it is assigned to a prosecutor to get the thorough review it deserves. There is no timeline for that process. For those gathered in Jefferson Square Park, My baby deserves justice. Shively Animal Clinic deserves justice. They wonder how much longer they'll have to wait for justice. Connor Steffen, WHAS 11, on your side. Shively police handed the case over to the office of the Commonwealth's attorney five days into the investigation. A spokesperson for the office said it will make a public announcement whenever a decision is made.